Hello and uh, welcome back. I had a question how to generate a table to uh, show the uh, existing profile grade and the uh, uh, design profile grade uh, for the center line. If you uh, have been watching my basic highway design, which is linked below, uh, it uh, we uh, designed something similar to this what we have on the screen here. So if you look at the profile, you can see we have a lot of station. And actually, this is the, this profile is for the uh, uh, this alignment, this corridor we have on uh, this uh, route that we designed previously. So if I'm come back in here, you can see the uh, profile, and uh, down uh, we show the existing center line and a proposed center line. What and what I like to see a, a table. Uh, in Excel form and shows that and also show the different elevations. So go ahead, let's get to work. Uh, one of the things, first thing we're gonna do is um, up here from the home tab, you can see you have your prospector. Go up right here next to the uh, tool space, you can see something called uh, toolbox. Click on that. And when you do that, your uh, screen down here changes and you come to the report and manager. From here, try to uh, click the plus sign. And you can see you have alignment, corridor, parcel. Come all the way down to the profile and click the plus sign on the profile. And from here, you have other option. You can take any of these option and, uh, and try it out. But the one I want to use the, is the first one right here. Click on that. And then right click and hit execute. When you do that, you will have a new window. Let me bring it on the other screen. There it is. So we have a new window right here. In this new window, you can see you have the uh, design profile and you have the uh, uh, existing profile. And uh, our alignment started at station 0 plus 95 to station 45 plus 30. What I like to do, I like to do an even station and a 50 station. So I'm gonna go ahead and here, it says station interval, make that to a 50. And uh, you can go ahead and use this individually and just practice so you can get better. But I'm gonna keep all of it for now. And one thing you have to have to designate where you want this file to go. This is the important part. Click on this uh, uh, right here. And then you will have this uh, window open up that where you want to save your file and in what format. I'm going to down here, click down the drop down arrow and go for Excel. So you can put an Excel workbook and then you can go ahead and designate where you want your file to go. I'm going to click save for now. Uh, already file exists. Let's make a different name for it. Hold on. Just name it whatever you like. And click Save. Then you can click uh, Create Report if you want. And um, you will have your report saved to, uh, to the, the file. So let's go back, check our file. If I go ahead and go look for, look for the location of the file, I can see there it is. It's been saved. So let's open it up. And here it is our, uh, our uh, profile elevation different report. And you can see we have a PVI, we have the station, we have a east and northern, we don't need this. You can take these two columns out actually. And that's not what I'm looking for, I don't want this, so I'm gonna take these out. And then I have the existing elevation, then I have the design elevation, then I have the difference, and then I have a point uh, whether it's regular or existing. Regular mean is the one that we set up. So if I go back in here, station 0 plus 0 is regular, station 1 plus 0, 0 is regular, 1 plus 50 is regular. So what I got to do, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. I don't want to see the rest of them. I just, do, I just want to see on station. So from Excel from here, go to data, and from data go to the filter, click on a filter. Whoops, I got to put my button here. Now I click on a filter. 
and then you can filter out and basically when you get to this point and select all and just select the uh, regular click OK and all we have is the even station 0 0 0 plus 50 1 and 1 plus 50 and then you can go ahead and clean this up the way you like it like I have with this other one right here um, as I have cleaned them up right here I just have the station and have it in this format I can take this back and put it back into Civil 3D if I want to I basically have to so once you have created your report and then modify it the way you like it you can put this table back into Civil 3D simply just go ahead and select it and um, click copy and once you have done that come back in here from a home tab go to right here and on the far right where you have the paste you can click on paste and you have a number of options if you hit paste special what it's going to do it's going to put the table and it's going to use the format that you already use in, in your civil 3d but if you like the format that you have in uh, uh, Excel itself you can just use click paste it's up to you and I'm going to just use the I like the format the way I have it so I'm going to click paste and uh, then select the area and once you click and you're going to come up here and say this is what would you like for the font you can make the font bigger I'm going to just make the font to make it uh, as 14 and that's fine where we have it so click OK and you can see the small tiny dot right there if you make them bigger there it is uh, your Excel uh, sheet back in here and you have all the stationing and you can double check this number to make sure it's correct against your uh, uh, profile right here which I already have done hope this was uh, uh, clarified everything if you like give me a thumbs up thank you